This tutorial will provide an introduction to Socialize, a simple to use and fully accessible Facebook client for Windows that is compatible with Windowize and other popular screen readers. Socialize offers Facebook users the ability to access their newsfeed, read comments, create comments, like posts, search for events, pages, friends, groups, and more. Users can also read notifications, messages, chat with their friends, write on timelines, manage friend requests, and access event information. Socialize even has the ability to attach links, photos, or video to status updates. Socialize also provides additional features such as custom notification sounds and message filtering, all designed to help you stay in touch with all of your Facebook friends. For this tutorial, I will be using a Windows 7 computer running Windowwise 8.2. After downloading, installing, and activating Socialize, the next step is to log in to Facebook with Socialize. So first, let's open Socialize by selecting the program's desktop shortcut and pressing Enter. Socialize list view 9 of 10. Socialize 9 of 10. Launching application. Please wait. Socialize. Login L button. Next, we'll activate the login button. And the window will open that displays a web page. Four links, one heading, browse off. And this web page includes the two edit boxes, the first for our email, and our second for our password. So at this point, our focus is in the password edit box. My email address associated with my Facebook account is already entered, so I'll type in my Facebook password. Star. 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 Star and then I'll press enter to log in. Status Stephen Clower, status Stephen Clower, share the link. Note, if you do not have a Facebook account, you will need to create one before you can log into Facebook. On the previous page, there is a sign up for Facebook link that you can use to create a Facebook account. Now after logging in, we are presented with the Socialize main window and user interface. The initial focus is placed in the status list. I can use my up and down arrow keys to navigate the posts and status messages. Aaron Smith status Aaron Smith likes the link. GW micro status now that I have joined Facebook. I am ready to share with my friends in the world. La Pressing the application key on a selected post opens a context menu with additional options. Context menu. Open. Dialog. Like L. Delete D. Review status R. Link site disabled. Filter app. Filter name. Filter keyword. Menu closed. I can also press enter to open the post in a separate dialog where I have the ability to read the message, review comments, like the post, like comments, or make a comment of my own about the post. I'm going to like a friend's post right from the status list using the context menu and then I will add a comment to another post after opening it. Aaron Smith's Aaron Smith Aaron Smith status Aaron Smith there Newsreel magazine Stephen Clower's status, that's really too bad. Stephen Clower's status, bring it on. Newsreel magazine buy-in for the blind state. Aaron Smith's status, Aaron Smith commented on a status. Aaron Smith's status, finally. Home. Likes three comments for a last update, 6 30 p.m. 12 of 26. Here's a post from Aaron stating that he made it home safely from vacation. I will now press the application key to open the context menu context menu and I'll down arrow to like open like L and I'll press enter to complete the process of liking the post menu closed post liked window wise reports the post has been liked and that is all there is to liking a post now I will add a comment to another post in my status list Aaron Smith status newsreel Stephen Stephen Newsreel magazine by and for the blind status good news mailman picked up everything the magazine is out. Not sure what's going on for you download subscribers. 
I'm sure Erwin has emailed you or will do so shortly. Enjoy. Likes 2 comments 3 a last update 1 13 p.m. 7 of 26. So here is the post from Newsroom Magazine indicating that some people are having problems downloading their July edition from the website. I will press enter to open the post in a separate dialog. Message from Newsreel Magazine by In for the Blind 7 1 20 13 7 24 p.m. And now I will tab until I reach the add comment button and I'll activate it by pressing the space bar. Like post, like com, add comment above space, add comment. Add. I will type in my comment here. S O U N D space L I K E space T A E space E B S E R V O space I S O S T I N C U P S O I N. Bang! Sounded like the web server is acting up again. Like space. F Fix my typo there, and now I'm ready to add my comment. So to do so, I'll just use my tab key until I reach the add button. I'll add activate button. the add button by pressing spacebar. Space. Bar. space. And that completes the process of adding the comment to that particular post. Space. Message from Newsreel Magazine by In for the Blind 7120. And I can press Escape to close the opened post dialog, and I should return to my status list. Social eyes logged in. Status Newsreel Magazine by In for the Blind. Status Good News. Ma Next, let's try to chat with one of our Facebook friends. I will press tab from the status list and I will land in my friends list. Friends are Aaron Smith presence unavailable unselected list. I can list. press down arrow and I will try to select Stephen Clower from my list of friends. Mark Solomon, Stephen Clower presence active. There he is and it lists his presence is active. And I'll press the application key to open the context menu for this friend. Context and I will menu. down arrow to chat. Open. And press chat. Enter See to dialogue. open the chat window. Menu closed. Chat Stephen Clower. Message M at a clock. Now I'll go ahead and type my message and I'll ask Steve. D O space one O space space U space P L S space O S A V H S O O K O U space space T space L S O S J E L Y. Question. Do you plan on having a cookout on the 4th of July? Now press enter to send the message. Me, do you plan on having a cookout on the 4th of July? Now wait for Stephen to respond. Stephen Clower is typing. While the other person is typing, you'll hear the typing indicator, and then the message should be spoken once it's received. Stephen Clower, yes. Stephen Clower, yes. I imagine we'll do something. It really depends on whether it keeps raining. Stephen Clower is typing. Stephen Clower, how about you? Y E S P U U B U R G R S O N D O T D O G S L O S M E. Bang. Me, yes. Burgers and hot dogs. Okay, so we just had our quick chat, and now I can press the escape key after he's done here. Stephen is typing. Stephen Clower. All right, well, Steve's on my way to my place for the barbecue. I'll go ahead and close the chat window by pressing escape. Stephen Clower. Friends are Stephen Clower. Now I'm back in the friends list. And for our final exercise, let's post a status update for all of our Facebook friends to read. Pressing tab from the friends list, we'll place our focus in the status update edit box, and I'll now type my status message. A E L L O space F C E B O O K space R E N S space O P space W P E S W U C A E S G R T space A O L I Y bang. Hello, Facebook friends. I'll press I hope my you tab key. Holiday. Privacy P just and in the privacy box combo box, you can use this control to adjust who this message will be sent to. I want all of my friends to receive the message, so I'll up arrow. To select all, all friends, friends I'll three. tab once, and I can press the space bar to activate button. the post button to post this message. Space. Status G W micro status. Hello, Facebook friends. I hope you have a great holiday. Last update: two forty-five p.m. via social eyes list. If you want to include, if you want to include a G link, w photo, or video in your status update. 
press Control N and use the Attach menu in the Post dialog. Here's a quick look at the new Post dialog. N Post. And I can Update press Alt 8 open the Attachments menu. A link L dialog photo. And that gives you video. a better idea of how you could post the status with a link, photo, or video attached. I'll press Escape to close the menu. Escape again. Attach. Close the menu and escape to menu close the closed. post dialog. Socialize In addition to the status list, friends list, and update status area, the socialized main window also includes a menu bar towards the top and a status bar at the bottom. You can access the socialized menu bar by pressing Alt. The menu bar has four menus, File, View, Tools, and Help. File F. View v. The file v. menu gives Help you eight. options for creating a new post, logging in and out of Facebook, to view v. and view. allowing and you to dialogue. close or exit the program. The view menu gives you Find. access to the Find dialog as well as a number of other Facebook features including events, friend requests, messages, notifications, timeline, groups, and likes. The Tools menu offers Option. access to the Options dialog that can be used to customize all of your socialized settings. And finally, the Help menu gives you access to the Socialize manual, the Activate Deactivate functions, and also the About dialog that gives you current program information and activation information. At the very bottom of the Socialize main window is the Status bar. The status bar lists the name of the logged in user, followed by the number of unread notifications, messages, friend requests, as well as the number of upcoming events. Posting, commenting, and liking as GW Micro 3 The window wise hotkey to read the status line is Control Insert S, and that's how I was able to obtain that information. This concludes the introduction to and demonstration of Socialize. There are many more features to explore and socialize, but we hope that this tutorial will help you learn how to navigate the program's user interface and complete the most common tasks, including reading status updates, chatting with friends, and posting status updates. Thanks for checking out this video tutorial from GW Micro. If you have any sales-related questions about Socialize, please contact us by phone at 260-489-3671 or via email sales at gwmicro.com. Socialized technical support is available exclusively through the GW Apps electronic mailing list. Here you can interact and communicate with other Socialized users and GW Micro staff should you have any problems, suggestions, or questions. To subscribe to GW Apps, please visit www.gwmicro.com slash lists.